Hey guys, it's Composer. Did a video about eight months ago um, that was really made as an internal squadron video on how to use OVGME uh, to install some livery packs and some mod packs that our actual squadron um, that I fly with uses. Um, and within that, I think that I went a little quick in my explanation because um, most of the guys that join our squadron um, have been playing DCS for a long enough period of time that I, I figured they had an idea of um, the way that the DCS folders are set up and such. But with that, I wanted to return to the topic uh, and, and try to explain it a little bit more clearly. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not super clear. Please let me know if this doesn't make any more sense than the last one. But my goal is to just kind of show you where the two DCS folders that are created when you make the game um, are actually located, and then how to, from scratch, add an OVGME file. Um, so first off, um, when you install DCS for the first time, it actually installs it in two locations on your computer. The first location is the main root folder, which is this one here. Um, this is the folder that will hold all of your main files for your game. So when you go to install DCS and it says, hey, where would you like to install this game? It's on this drive, wherever you selected. So for me, in my particular case, I installed it on this external, well, it's actually an internal M2 drive. It's a secondary drive that I have within my computer um, in this games folder, and then it's right here. So this is the main install folder that I selected. But what it doesn't tell you is that it's also installing another folder on your computer on your C drive or your local uh, user drive, which for me is C users, my username, and then you go to saved games. And inside of that, there's gonna be a DCS open beta folder. And in this folder is uh, where you, you find things like your screenshots, your different mission files, if you wanna add your own missions, uh, this is where your My Missions area comes from, um, your kneeboards. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of these folders that are actually similar, config, data, and some of those other things that you're actually able to modify some of the files within this so that you're not modifying your actual core game files. So in the case that you need to revert something, you don't have to go and repair your game. So... With that, hopefully the knowledge of that will help with what comes up here with OVGME. Um, so when you go to OVGME, um, right now I have one already set up, but you're gonna you're gonna be set up with essentially just a blank setup here. When I download a mod of any kind, it can be a livery, uh, a Lua file whatever it is, I like to put it in a certain folder on my computer. So I'm opening another folder just to show you where I put those personally. Um, I put it on this external drive right here. Um, and pretend this is just a downloads folder, but I've organized my downloads folder. So the way I like to organize my downloads folder in this case is I like to have all of my mods that are going to go in my saved games folder. Remember, that's over here. I like to put those in a folder that I personally just call it DCS mods. You can call it whatever you'd like, but that's how I have mine labeled on this external hard drive. Again, this is basically just a downloads folder that I've just left my stuff in here. Okay. But what you'll notice is that these are just being pulled. OVG me is pulling from this folder, but we'll get to that. Whenever I have something that I know I'm going to want to put in my root mods or in my core game folder over here, remember where you chose that you wanted to install the game originally, this is what has all of your main game files, including your exe file for the game. That goes in its own folder. All of those things go in its own folder, which will be what you see over here, right? So remember, all this is, I'm just showing you, these are just download folders. It's just how I've organized it. I tell you that because it could help you potentially in this next step. So what you're going to do when you open OVGME for the first time, and let's just use the example of a livery pack. So in my case, I have all my livery packs in this DCS mods folder, which would be my downloads folder of things that I want to go into my saved games folder. So that's over here. And I'm sorry if this is confusing, but to some extent, OVGME takes a little bit of knowledge 
of just the file structures. So I'll try and have some labels up here to try and keep this a little bit um, more organized for you guys. So I'll go to new and I'm gonna make a saved games folder within OVGME. So I'm gonna just call this, because I already have one, I'm gonna call it DCS saved games too. Now, what you do in the configuration root folder is you're gonna go to the folder that you wanna put the plugins into or the liveries into. In this case, we wanna put it in the saved games folder. So be C, my username, down to saved games, and then DCS open beta. You just click on that, click okay. Okay, and then your configuration mods folder is actually the folder that your mods or your, in the, our case right now, the liveries actually live inside of. So I go to browse, because I showed you, I like to put them in, remember these are basically the download folders. I like to put my saved game stuff in the things that I call DCS mods. You could call this DCS saved games, whatever you wanna call it. Click on that. And then all that's gonna do is it's basically saying, okay, take whatever's in this folder and it's gonna, they're gonna show up right here. Okay, so whatever's in this folder is gonna show up here and then I'll have to manually select them and enable them or disable them. But when I enable them, they're gonna go into this folder. And remember that when DCS opens up, it's gonna look at this folder first and say, okay, is there anything in this folder that's not in this other folder that I need to make sure and play? which in our case will be livery files because it'll say, oh, okay, there's some liveries there that I'm gonna display with inside of the game. So that's all we're doing here. So I'm gonna click create. And because I already have one created, we're just gonna delete this one. So I'm gonna go to new, we're gonna do this again. DCF saved games, this might be helpful anyway. Configuration root folder is going to be my saved games folder, so users. Saved games, DSS open beta, right? Then the folder that contains my downloads is DCS mods. Click OK, and we're gonna create. And so now you can see, just like you saw a second ago, all of these are here. I can shift click, I can do whatever I like. Um, and in this case, we'll just enable, um, let's say these, click enable. It's gonna take a moment. What actually ends up happening is right now it's actually adding all those liveries to this folder. It's actually making changes inside of this folder as we speak. Um, and then once this finishes up, we would in theory be able to launch our game and see all of these things show up inside of our game. Then something we're able to do with OVGME, the, the benefit of using OVGME beyond something else is we're then able to click disable. And now anything that was in here that did not come originally with the game is gone again. The biggest advantage of that is something like the F-18 Hornets countermeasure program uh, Lua file. If anyone's ever used that and you're going in and manually replacing it within your folders on your own, what you'll notice is that every time there's a patch to the game, it actually resets that file because that file has to be installed into the root game folder, which is where, again, you chose to put that uh, the game whenever you installed it. So because that's the root folder, every single time there's an update, it actually rewrites and checks to make sure that all the folders are exactly how they're supposed to be. Um, so what OVGME, OVGME allows you to do um, is every time there's an update, all I do is click disable, click on it again, click re-enable or just enable, um, and it, it rewrites it back onto that file. So instead of having to go and keep that file on a folder and download it or whatever, copy, paste it over to the other place, I just know that I can hop onto OVGME, go over to this section, turn it off, turn it back on, and it'll rewrite that file back to that folder just as it was before. Um, so I hope that's a little bit more clear. Um, if that's not clear, I do believe that this video in conjunction with the previous video that I made should be clear enough to get you, um, to get you set up. If it's not, please let me know. I really do want to help you guys. Um, 
But to be honest, the way that the DCS folders are set up is somewhat frustrating uh, to someone who's not computer savvy. Uh, even to myself, I'm fairly computer savvy and it didn't make sense to me for the first little bit of time. But if you just dig around a little bit, um, mess with OVG and me until you get it to work or not work, it makes a little bit more sense the more you mess with it. Um, but I do hope that helps. And I'm sorry if, if I'm talking too fast or if this isn't explained well, but, um, just leave a comment, let me know whether it worked or whether it didn't. Um, and I appreciate you guys stopping by uh, again. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you guys and I'll, uh, I'll catch y'all next time.